Welcome to Real Foot Forward, a West Tennessee podcast from Discovery Park of America in Union City, Tennessee. Today's podcast is brought to you by Leaders Credit Union. Thank you, Caroline. Welcome to Real Foot Forward, a West Tennessee podcast where we explore the history, the people, and the culture of our home in West Tennessee. I'm your host, Scott Williams. Okay, Caroline, before I introduce today's guest, what is something you have discovered this week at Discovery Park of America? This week, I was looking at our Hattie Marshall Duncan Southern Artist Showcase exhibit and learned that she got her start in art due to her not being able to attend school regularly because she was diagnosed with polio as a child. And I just thought that was neat because this negative thing ended up creating a big positive, which was her art and sculptures. Thank you, Caroline. Uh, That was the perfect discovery for you to share with us for this episode. Uh, We actually recorded today's episode with Hattie herself at our recent opening event for an exhibit in Discovery Park Southern Artist Showcase. Many of you know our mission here at Discovery Park is to inspire children and adults to see beyond, and art is certainly a big part of that. We have a couple of new exhibits every year that feature some of the best-known painters, photographers, sculptors, and other fine artists to come out of the South. We rotate these exhibits frequently so that we can expose those of you who get to visit Discovery Park to the widest variety of art possible. Southern Artist Showcase, Hattie Marshall Duncan, will be here at Discovery Park through October 24th, 2022, so Be sure and come by and check out this incredible exhibit in person. I have to admit, just between us, it's one of my favorites we've done so far, and it was such an honor to get to meet Hattie in person. I hope you all enjoy this episode and enjoy hearing her tell us about her art as much as I did. Uh, We're here at the Southern Artist Showcase at Discovery Park of America, where we feature some of the best-known painters, photographers, sculptors, and other fine artists to come out of the South. This exhibit that we're in today features self-taught sculptor Hattie Marshall Duncan of Jackson, Tennessee. Hattie turns common household items and found objects that are often overlooked into distinguished masterpieces like the ones that we're surrounded with today. She was the recipient of the 2019 Tennessee Governor's Arts Award, and her art is displayed in museums and galleries throughout Tennessee. Her work will be on display here at Discovery Park through October 24th, 2022. The pieces that you see on display here in this exhibit are on loan from the West Tennessee Regional Arts Center, Tom and O.E. Stiegel Ethnic Library and Museum, both in Humboldt, Arts in McNary in Selmer and Joanna and Sean Pitts. Let's give um, Hattie a round of applause to welcome her here today. And, and thank you to all of you who helped loan pieces and helped us put this great exhibit together. So tell us a little bit um, before we talk about your artwork about where you came from and, and your childhood. I'm from Jackson, Tennessee. I have two daughters and three grandchildren. My childhood, um, I started doing uh, art from little scraps I would find in the yard. And um, I would use crayon as my paint. I would paint a picture on wood, and I would put the wood out in the sun and let the sun melt the crayon to make it look like, you know, professional paint. And uh, I didn't go to school that much because I had polio, and uh, uh, I wasn't able to walk to school with my siblings. So what I would do is just do art. Where do you suppose that creativity came from? I was just blessed to be able to do it, you know. Uh, and what happens with us is we, we do things as we grow. And if we, I was thinking about this last night. If parents would teach their children the things that have happened to them as a child, is their walk as to where they were going to be ending up to. So um, I was straight away from art for a while because I 
you know, straight away myself. So um, I was working on my art one night and my daughter, Keisha, came over and she said, because I had been wondering myself, how did I learn to do these things? And um, I, I told her, I said, it was when I forgave my mother. You know, and a lot of times we're wondering why we are not where we're supposed to be in life, and it's because, and, and I use this too, um, you can go to every college and university in the world, but until you can forgive, that's powerful. It puts a lot of meaning behind right. the work that you do. Yes, and um, I, I use a lot of found arts and things, like the... Uh, on the piece that with the blue jacket, that's a fruit bag on oh. our head. Wow, that's I great. Use, I use a netting as, as uh, bales to go on hats. Mm -hmm. And um, the dress on the lady here, that's Keisha, my baby. <laughs> she's my angel. <laughs> All, every day? I've seen the video where you said she's not a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's, she's getting a lot better since she... <laughs> <laughs> since, she, since she married my son standing there clear she's a, she's a whole lot better than oh that's it. good yeah. that's good he, he, he's, he's, been, he's been an angel for me now when are you going to do a sculpture of him um is he going to get one one of these days I, don't, let me tell you something about this man right here <laughs> this man I would have to paint him like a saint <laughs> he, he is so precious. Yeah, oh, that's great you know? to hear. I mean, he, yeah. helps, he helps everybody. Yeah, that's you know? great. Um, and I know one of the pieces back there is, is a pine cone um, yeah, that, on, the, that's on the top a pine of it. Cone. Uh, that's, a, that's a cousin of my dad's. He's the oldest man in the family. Um, and I did that because I got the inspiration because he is like in his 90s. He still wants to dress like a young man. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you so, go. And I know, I know some of the people, some of the sculptures I've heard that you make the teeth big if they talk a lot. Well, one of them I did that way, the one that's at the Tennessee Art Commission. Mm -hmm. But I did the teeth, I started doing the teeth because, you know, I thought about when we grew up, there were so many of us, we, didn't, we weren't able to go to the dentist. And my dad would pull our teeth with a uh, wild pop. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Goodness. And I, I would always think, I said, that's what we would look like if we, you know, <laughs> the, the, the Lord had to bless us with teeth that wasn't sticking out all out of our mouth and stuff. And, um, now, tell, talk to us a little bit about your uh, process, because when I think of paper mache, I think of like dipping newspapers, and that's not what you do at all, is it? Tell us a little bit about uh, the process that you do. What I do, I, I have a five-gallon bucket, and I use shredded paper. I don't use any magazine paper. I always use paper that's like paper that you would use in, a, uh, you know, typing paper and things like that, or either the solid paper. And I use um, glue and water. And I have a paint stirrer, great big paint stirrer. And I take the paint stirrer and stir this up until it looks like a pudding. Mm -hmm. Then it has to be the right consistency. Um, Say if I was going to put on this uh, table here, I would cover it with masking tape first. You always use masking tape first. And then you start adding that paper to paper, this mixed paper. You spread it on it just like you would a cake. Yeah, I noticed that you use like a trowel, like you're doing bricks. Yeah, it's and something that's from when I was making cakes. It's okay. a, what is that? What do you call it? It's just like a spatula. A spatula, yeah. yeah. Uh, you remember I said I didn't go to school. So. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> you didn't need to, obviously. You but could teach anyway, us a few things. Yeah, but anyway, uh, that's what I do, and each layer has to dry. Mm -hmm. You put a layer on it, and it has to dry. And do you know in advance where you're headed when you start out, or you Not just really. kind of go where you want to go? I just let it. You know, because once you start doing it, well, like I said, I didn't learn, I didn't go to school to learn this. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a guess at everything I'm doing, in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I was blessed to be able to do this. And I give God the credit for it because when I come out to talk about art, 
I'm not really coming to talk about art. I want to explain to us how we need to, as the Bible said, when you have an all against your brother, when you have something against your brother, you leave your request at the altar. Once you get it straight, then you come back and receive mm. your blessing. Mm -hmm. So this is what happened to me because I, I've been wondering myself, you know, um, how did I learn to do this? And it's because of forgiveness. Forgiveness, yeah, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. Um, are there pieces here that you consider to be your favorite or your, your no. best? Or do you, do you have any ones you like better than any others? No. You like them all the same? Yeah, yes. Um, I don't... I, when I make, when, when something comes to me to make, create it, you know, my thought is to bless somebody else with it. You know, I, I, I would love my art to affect a person in a way that they will feel what I felt when I learned to do it. Well, my office is right there, and so I get to see hundreds of people coming through here and loving every minute of it. You know, like, they're really touched by the, by the work. I know a lot of times they probably don't know why they're so touched, but it's because of the forgiveness, yes. that, the message of right. forgiveness. And I pray when I'm working. I don't, I don't just go in my room and just start doing something. I like to pray and ask the Lord to lead me. Uh, there's a scripture I read every day. Uh, May the Lord... Uh, uh, establish the work in me, my hands, so that I can create the work I'm doing. Have you had any pieces that you were working on that you just thought, you know what, I'm going to give up on this one. I'm going to throw it away. Or do they all work out to be something? I have had that to happen. You know, uh, what I did, uh, I have some pieces that are really, really tall about your, no, they're probably about his height. Maybe about that height. <laughs> but, but for me, you're tall. <laughs> um, but I had, I had my husband to take a saw and cut the heads off. <laughs> yeah, you have to cut it with a saw. You can't just, you can't just use a knife or drop it in, you know. Now, there was one lady, her piece broke, but that was because I, ne I had her neck too tall. Mm -hmm. I was making, what I would do, I would use like a paper towel roll mm -hmm. to make the neck. Sure. Okay, and it was really tall. Yeah. Uh, now, I know there's a piece over there, uh, the drummer, that has a story that he was yeah. originally standing up tall, and yeah. then you, what happened? Well, I, that was early on when I started making those. Uh, I made him, he was supposed to be standing up, and uh, I got up the next morning, I think I had too much on it, and it slid down, and I said, oh. I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> I think it looks great. <laughs> I really like it. Well, you've got some, some incredible work here. I know there's some work over there that's for sale. If anybody would like uh, to take a piece home, um, and will you stick around a little bit longer and talk to everybody? Oh, that's Okay, so glad. she's going to stick around here and pose for pictures and talk to everybody. We really appreciate you all coming. Um, before you leave tonight, you should also check out Steampunk, which is right around the corner, a really cool exhibit. And if you haven't been here before, be sure you go up in the tower and check out the view uh, from way up high. So, And again, thank you so much for sharing your incredible talents with us. And this, it's honestly my favorite exhibit that we've done, your stuff here. So don't tell anybody. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Real Foot Forward from Discovery Park of America featuring the artist Hattie Marshall Duncan. If you did, please be sure to subscribe, rate, and leave a positive review on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Podcasts.